he shunned Arsenal, yet they wanted him. He shunned Chelsea, yet they wanted him. They had made bigger bids than Barcelona, but the player told his agent Deco that I want to go to Barcelona. He shunned down Arsenal and Chelsea to go to Barcelona, and obviously it's known what he really expected. As the Englishman says, that as it, it when it rains, it pours, and obviously a scenario that Rafinha has found himself at Barcelona has led to the hierarchy of the Catalonia based team to really put him for sale in the summer because he has not gone ahead to really reach the potential that they expected him to be. Then, secondly, we are going to talk about Matthias Chuna, deal done and Dustin from Atletico Madrid to Wolves. It has been confirmed by both teams. And last, we are going to talk about um, Darwin Nunes. Darwin Nunes. This is going to be in action tomorrow for Liverpool as they talk on a side called, called is it Aston Villa? As they take on the side known as Aston Villa at I think it's going to be at Villa Park. So thank you very much for watching in through. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? This is the channel that brings you the information as far as we are concerned. May the Omet God bless you abundantly. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And obviously we are left with just year, with just days to end this month. Now let's get into this. Rock and David is my name, and let's get into our second story of the day. Now We've had a story coming in from from Relevo that FC Barcelona are considering putting Rafinha on the transfer market next summer. Obviously, when you look at what Rafinha was supposed to be becoming at Arsenal, when you consider at what Rafinha was supposed to be becoming at Barcelona and the high prospects they had for him, he never really reached that ceiling. And this is where I go on and blame Xavi with the hierarchy of Barcelona that this is not how Pep Guardiola built the Barca team. When you look at the players that he really came in and added, he got most of them from the academy that really made a revolution of Barcelona to go on and become the best team in the world for, the, for, for six years from 2009, from 2009 to 20 like... 20, like 14 or 15, Barcelona was the best team in the world. You get? Guess how it happened? There were the senior players, Xavi, um, this other guy, Carlos Puyo, <laughs> there was Victor Valdez, and um, Iniesta looked senior. Then, what did he do? He went in to go and signed Dani Alves. You get? He brought in... Mm -hmm. He brought in, he brought in Messi, Pedri, Pedro, uh, Busquets from the academy, and he integrated them into this team. By that time, Barcelona really had a very good team. The likes of Thiago Alcantara came in from the academy, and they had a very good team. Now, Xavi is making it wrong. I believe he needed to admit that they needed to go back to ground zero. You get. By doing such signings like that of Rafinha, Barcelona thought that they could move the needle, and obviously the, the needle has not moved for even a second. It has not even moved for a second. It has not even moved for a second. That's it. So, if the needle has not moved even for a second, what do you expect to happen? They need to go on and reflect into what signings they made and why were they signed. If I were Barcelona, I wouldn't have gone ahead to spend 65 million euros on Rafinha because I know I'm having Osman Dembele, I'm having Ansu Fati playing off the left and Dembele will deliver playing off the right. There is Memphis Depay, there is Ferran Torres. Obviously, what was the need of signing Rafinha at Barcelona? <laughs> That's it. You get? So, I believe that they got that signing wrong. And even Rafinha made a very bad decision because nowadays the football has changed. If you've been in the Premier League and you've really hit the ground running in the Premier League and you're shaking tables, every team has shown interest in you. Why not go to Arsenal? I think it's better for you to go to Arsenal to see to it that you go on and capitalize onto that side because, because we don't have 
because you don't he never had a guarantee to go on and be really be successful at a club known as Barcelona and obviously that is what is coming from Barcelona they are considering to sell Rafinha next summer that is in 2023 but as they are preparing to sell him Rafinha believes that he can be FC Barcelona's Vinicius Junior obviously he cannot he cannot because there is a player coming in from La Masia Ansu Fati who is telling Barcelona if you are not going to make me a priority starter on the team let me go next season and he wants out so that is really bad for side which goes by names of Barcelona and let me show you the shocking stats of this team of Barcelona and Rafinha's shocking stats in this side of Barcelona and there you go when you look at Barcelona most goals slash assists for Barcelona this season most goals scored Lewandowski has 18 Osman Dembele has five Ferran Torres has five Ansu Fati has three assists Dembele has seven Rafinha has four Lewandowski had four and Konde and Ansu Fati have three remember Ansu Fati even comes from the bench uh, Lewandowski is a center forward and Dembele is leading the list that's why I told you that they made a very bad decision of bringing in Rafinha you would have gone ahead to leave Osman Dembele on the right then Ansu Fati and Ferran Torres to battle for that side of the left attacking side of the midfield so I believe I believe that they made a very bad a very a very bad decision to bring in Rafinha exciting as he was and the age that he has the age of this guy because he's 20 he's now going to make 27 they signed him when he's 26 i believe that is a risky signing to me i wouldn't have called for it to me i believe person needs to go on and really bring in players that are not even at the level of being top class but having a prospect of being world class players that's it you see if at all you've decided to bring in the chavis sorry the pedris and the gavis to play for you the game of football then you have to make sure that you go on and really embroid that team on those players. That's the problem they're really making. But I believe Rafinha will return. And I don't know if the Arsenal will pick interest in Rafinha because he's up for grabs now. After that, Fabrizio Roman is going to hit. Let us know that. Matthias Chuna, you know him very well. Matthias Chuna, a Brazilian New Orleans player, loan deal includes obligation to buy close for 50 million euros total fee to atletico madrid official and confirmed tuna's contract with wolverhampton wanderers will be valid until 2027 that is fabricio romano so wolverhampton 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 have been suffering from a striker problem that is syndrome that syndrome happened ever since this mexican striker of theirs got a head injury because he used to go in and score in like 17 20 goals a season for Wolverhampton Wanderers but ever since he got that head injury and returned Wolves have not been the same they tried to play Podence as a false nine they brought in is it Carlos Zidic? he has not really hit the ground running Douglas Costa in discipline in just three four games he got a red card suspended for the last three games I don't even I don't even think the game they're going to play tomorrow is going to be part of it because of his indiscipline. So it shows you that he's not the right person to come in and trust with your team. So Le Portugui has gone to Spain and got in that striker in the names of in the names of Matias Tuna, the Brazilian, was linked to Arsenal in the summer and Manchester United, but finally he has decided to go on and go that side. And Fabrizio Roman has confirmed that a deal is done and dusted. Now, let's talk about Robbie Fowler talking about Darwin Nunes, one of the players that people think he flopped, yet he's not a flop. He's firing in goals like nothing right now. Now, Robbie Fowler, the legendary striker at Liverpool, is going to let us know that. Some people might say he's unorthodox and raw, but I think he has proven it the short time he has been at Liverpool that he will be one of the best players who will be a fan favorite because he will give you everything to me I believe he's a very good player though people are really undermining him but he has all what you need from a striker to go on and really hit the ground running to your side and with this season I think he has average is it does he have even 10 goals let me check here Doen Nunes come onto my screen Doen Nunes starts this year starts this year for liverpool let's check and see all right for liverpool in the efl cup he has one goal he has one assist in the premier league he has played 10 games he has five goals in the champions league he has three meaning that he's having eight goals scored with three goal involvement in how many games in 18 games in 18 games he has 11 goal involvements that's a very good output from a player like him you get 
depending on how struggling the Liverpool team is. That's it. So I believe he's really going to be one of those that we are going to be rejoicing about because it's a joy to watch. Though he misses out on sitters, I think it's a matter of him concentrating and really getting those balls in the back of the net. And one thing you should go ahead and really hail about him is that he finds himself in better positions that every number nine would love to see to it that he gets that ball and obviously do the needful and put that ball past the goalkeeper. Now, what he has to do is to go on and improve on him putting the ball past the goalkeeper. That's it. Fowler continued and said he showed that against AC Milan, the pace he used to get away from the defender was frightening. It was also unbelievably composed finish inst inside the goalkeeper's near post. I have seen enough to know that he will score goals. Obviously, because he has scored eight. Eight. Eight in 18 games. That's not bad. That's not bad. This guy is really a very good signing and Liverpool won't regret on signing him. So guys, what are your thoughts on Rafinha for sale in the summer? Then Matthias Tuna signing for Vampton Wanderers and Doe Noon is held by a former, all commended by a former Liverpool legend known as Robbie Fowler. Rock and David is my name. I sign out for now. See you later. I think we are left with one more video coming in the next one or two hours. Don't leave Rokani Media Football and don't forget to subscribe. Let's have close to 100 likes onto this video. I'm out. May the Lord bless you abundantly. Merry Christmas.